Justin from JJ Longboards, and today I'm going to do a review on my set of Venom Tweakers. These wheels are 70 millimeters tall, they have a width of 44 millimeters, and a contact patch of kind of small, 37 millimeters. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I haven't ridden this wheel all the way down to give you an opinion on what it's like when you're riding um, almost completely wore down on the wheel, but I think I've ridden it long enough and shaved off of quite a few mils, mils just to give a solid opinion on the wheel and tell you what it's like when the wheel is in its prime. Um, so one of the first things I noticed with the Venom Tweakers is the slide when you're going fast is amazing. It's so, it feels so great when you're in the middle of the slide. It gives you some resistance. It is a lower durometer wheel, so it is going to give you a little bit of resistance, but I actually like the resistance because it makes it feel a little bit more controlled which is another thing, is these wheels are so greatly controllable at high speed slides. So, um, which, which is something I just loved about this wheel, I noticed it right off the bat. Um, but at slower speeds, it is kind of hard to initiate the slide, um, just because of the fact that it's a lower durometer, and it's got a smaller contact patch, so it's going to be a little bit harder to initiate the slides when you're going slower speeds and just cruising around. So if that's kind of what you're planning to get the wheel on, is just to do spins and um, uh, 180 here and there, I wouldn't get the wheel for that reason. I would get the wheel um, for the purpose of doing fast free ride and um, mixed in downhill. Um, the Thane on this wheel is pretty nice. I like it. I definitely would prefer the ABAC Thane over this um, Thane, which is what a lot of people say, and I agree with that. But it is a nice Thane. I think they did okay. Um, these wheels are notorious to chunking and... Um, only getting about halfway through the life of this wheel, I've already noticed that as well. I got one wheel around here that's pretty, pretty shag. <laughs> that's, um, that's chipping pretty dang bad, and that, that sucks. But, um, yeah, I haven't noticed it too bad yet. Um, we'll see what happens as I go on with the wheel. But that's another thing you're going to have to look out for when buying this wheel. Um, as far as staining goes, um, the wheel does stain a lot. Um... At first, when you get it out of the box and you finally break it in, it won't thane quite as white as it will when you start wearing it down. You'll get more of a black skid mark type thing. Um, but when you start holding out longer slides and you break in the wheel and wear down the wheel a little bit more, you will get a nice white deep thane, which is what everybody loves. So that's great about this wheel. They sound great. You can't hear them at all. They don't make noise. They sound super buttery, and they are pretty buttery, but I also... I also feel like they're a little bit sugary as well, so I guess I'd give it about a mix, just because of the fact that um, it gives you a lot of resistance in the slide, and it doesn't quite feel buttery when you're initiating the slide, but when you're in the slide, it's very smooth, so I guess we'll call it sugary. So overall, um, for this wheel, I would say get it if you are planning on doing fast free ride and downhill. Um, like I said, it's greatly controllable at those high speed slides, feels great, super smooth. Um, very quiet. It's great. Um, it does it does start to chip a little bit, and it probably will get worse as time goes in a little bit more sessions. So that's something to look out for. Um, but the wheel is also flat spot resistant, not flat spot resistant, but almost flat spot resistant, which is great. I haven't seen any flat spotting yet, and like I said, I haven't ridden it to its complete life long, but I have ridden it pretty hard and I haven't seen any flat spawn. I've seen a little bit of coning, but just a little bit. Nothing nothing serious at all. So it's got a pretty good lifespan as far as that goes. Um, the price range is okay. It comes in between $45 to $50. But um, honestly, there are some wheels that could be at a better price range that do the same thing as this wheel. Um, so keep a lookout for that. Um, but I did love this wheel. Um, I'm still gonna be shredding it pretty hard. Um, if you want to go out and buy it, I would definitely give you the thumbs up for it if it's in your price range and it's what you're looking to do. Um, this has been a review with JJ Longboards. Check out other reviews. Check out our tutorials if you need help. Check out our edits because those are pretty, pretty gnarly. And subscribe.